Well, hello everyone, and uh, I'm here again, and excuse the background noise, uh, my neighbor apparently is uh, doing his yard and stuff. He does his yard like three times a week, and I don't know why. But I want to talk to you guys a little bit about bad luck with buying Sterilite containers. Um, I went and returned my other three Sterilite containers that were damaged to Target. And I told them I'd like to have a replacement if one's available, you know? And, you know, I wouldn't have cared. I just wanted it replaced because I need them bad. Because right now, I, I'm running out of space right now. And they had three more on the shelf. And I said, well, before I purchase these, I want to open them up. So I did. They looked at me funny. But they didn't look at me funny too long, because when I opened them up, these three were damaged as well. So it saved me a trip. And I, I was like, wow. And they're like, well, we're sorry. We'll check in the back and see if we have any more. And they didn't. And as kind enough as the employee was, referred to me to Walmart. <laughs> I was like, wow, you know, it's like, well, I'm not going by a Walmart, because uh, usually, you know, after work and such, they're, they're pretty busy. So, forget that idea. It's like, well, so I'm going to start, I don't know if I should order them or what, but I wanted to kind of share that rant with you guys and gals about my bad luck with buying stuff and especially when you're filming a review that's going along really well and it's like oh this product's damaged and I'm not gonna let it be hidden anymore now I'm not I'm not I'm, a, I'm not a big fan of ranting well actually I like to rant to be honest with you because it releases some of the stress and I have a plate in here wow well that's gonna be in the plate bin um, but, you know, that's the way it is. I still got a long ways to go sorting bricks. And I still got the, uh, uh, the container at the bottom. But, yeah, so... When you're buying stuff like that at a store, inspect it before you buy it. And here's the thing with me. You know, you got... You, you try, take it from experience, you know. You, you, I had somebody says, oh, I buy things from other stores and they're damaged too. And and those snare light containers are pretty good, but it look like these things. looks like a bunch of football players had tackled them or something. So, I mean, the, I mean this guy, though, he looked at me kind of weird, like you're checking these, you know, like an old lady in the store. And I'm thinking, well, if I'm going to be paying the money for them, because, you know, they had, a, they had some bigger ones. They had the ones, you know, about this wide right here, really wide ones, and they were white. And I was trying to get, you know, get ones of different colors and stuff to, you know, liven up the room. And I just was, uh, the back of this drawer had a hole in it, just a little triangle hole, and I was like, no, <laughs> no. And uh, so I got a gift card from them because they felt bad about it. And the, but they were referring me to Walmart. I thought that was odd. You know. Then they still gave me the gift card. but Because I, I like going to Target. Um, only that Walmart is further away. I just don't like going to Walmart very much. So I try to stay away from there as much as I can, unless they're having a heck of a sale, or I'm passing that way to work or something, and I'll, of course I'll swing by there. But, you know, just check your merchandise before you buy it. You never know, okay? Um, if they would have gave me, like, oh, okay, these are damaged, you know, we'll sell them to you for a buck, heck, I would have took them and mended them myself, but... You know, I'm not. I'm not here for. I'm not here to fix something that was bought brand new at a at a, at a retail price. So you know, forget it. Oh man, I just dropped a whole bunch of bricks on the floor, and they're all various sizes, especially one by ones. No. Well, anyways, but that's my rant for today, and I'll probably be sorting for the next couple of weeks. 
now without any containers, because I'm behind now, I'm just going to have to even use, a, you know, let's see here. I had grabbed a couple of old shoe boxes that I had laying around the house, so I'm going to be stuffing parts in shoe boxes until I can find containers. Um, I'm really surprised Lego don't sell containers. I really don't. I'm really surprised they don't. But of course, it would probably be pricey, so I, I'm trying to do all this on a budget, but um, I don't really want to go cheap on the containers. These are my old totes. I don't know who makes these. Let me find the lid. I think they're rubber made. Let's see. Uh, yeah, these are rubber made. And, uh, you know, I've had these rubber made containers pretty much since I was a little kid. And, you know, for being 20 and 30 year old containers, they still last, you know. I mean, that's the thing. You gotta love rubber made. You know, these things are they're durable. You ain't going nowhere. Um, not sure about the blue container. I don't know what I did with the lid on that one, but I got more rubber maids. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna say Sterilite's bad because I do have two of them. I, I like I said, I bought in, uh, five of them, and uh, I had two of them that were already existing. Yeah, <sighs> so I'm having bad luck. Anyways, made this long enough. Um, I am going to. Uh, finish this up and if I have any more things to talk about I surely will do that here thank you all for watching